So here we go. There is the airplane, ladies and gentlemen. We are locked and loaded and ready for game number three of our PUBG EU scrims this evening. And meow. Ah! Still getting used to observing that way, but we will manage to do it. As we hop ahead of the plane now, we can take a look at who is going to be dropping where. FaZe Clan dropping... Su oh no, I beg your pardon. Yeah, well, FaZe Clan are dropping reasonably early as things currently stand. Um, we've also got... Well... Probably about half the teams on the plane, dropping before the plane even hits Los Leones. So, uh, very interesting to see that happen. It, I wonder if that means a reasonable amount of the north side of the map is just going to go unlooted, and whether we are fine with that moving into the rest of the game. Northern Lights will be going to the north side. Not entirely unexpected. And we have Win Streak 15, one of the last teams to leave the plane as it exits the map. And the crate landing almost exactly in the middle of Navi and Entropic. WTSG now getting shot at by a lot of people. This really is the gauntlet that they're running into the middle of zone. And unfortunately, I think they're going to be running into directly where Na'Vi are currently stationed. They are indeed. This is a problem. Varg getting out of the car, getting knocked straight away. Iroh going down with him. Shong is down and so is Miracu. WTSG in rotation gets annihilated by Na'Vi. Very difficult to see where else they could have gone there though. So really frustrating situation for WTSG. It was a big risk play, but Na'Vi were right in the middle of where they wanted to go. And that was fairly executed from them. Elsewhere on the south side of the circle, we see Team Exalt now moving into Chumacera and just trying to occupy the space that used to be taken by these teams such as FaZe. FaZe now moving in to the west side of the map and that's interesting because Gustav is going to find out firsthand that win streak 15 is right there. And suddenly FaZe go a man down. Win streak 15 at the moment. They've had a pretty low profile this game so far, but all four players are still alive. So do keep that in mind as uh, we continue to look out for additional resources in terms of kills for these guys. Still just the one kill, but with all four members left alive and not very many people in the zone, that's going to be delightful. Diamond Dogs now rushing up onto almost exactly where FaZe Clan are. And Lampelot is not going to enjoy this at all. That's Calvin and Simsy down, but by the hands of Aitzi. Where is Aitzi at the moment? That's both of these guys down. There's absolutely no way these guys are coming back. WS15 still on top, though. And the rest of Diamond Dogs managed to make it to their safe compound. But uh, Lampelot and Tomil are going to have to lick their wounds and think of a different way to come back into this game. 15 teams and 51 left alive. It is the 15 minute and 30 second mark here in game number three of tonight's EU scrims. FaZe Clan on the edge. And here we go. Win streak 15 pushing in. 8C and Fuzzface both go down. And win streak 15 with all four members left alive. Very aggressive push there to the edge of the circle, leaving FaZe Clan with no choice but to engage. Very impressive. They managed to keep all four alive. And that is some delicious pointage action for them. Going up to five kills with Tomil now going down as well. That leaves Lampelot as the only surviving member of Diamond Dogs and Maxizor with that Mini-14 up on the hill above. Looks like Lamp has spotted where he is. But you are on your own, mate. You've got no teammates. Be reasonably minded if I were you to take out those tires. Beautiful headshot there, actually buying some time. Is Lampelot going to use this opportunity to hop on the bike and get out of there? Doesn't look like it. Some frustrated bullets heading into that tree, but of course it will do no damage. Lampelot is stuck. And the rest of Windstreak 15 now are moving in. They're closing in on the target. And more importantly, for all of these teams, the circle is closing in on its next target. Evil from Omakan Esports. Staking his way in. Lampelot, unfortunately, trapped and struggling right now. Grenades coming in. That's from Asverin, I believe. Oh no, I beg your pardon. That's from DP. Asverin. Udir from downtown. Playing spoiler to Asverin. Dear me. That is from all the way down here. Not particularly fun. As Windstreak 15 go down to three. Not what you need when you're busy hunting that kill. Big frag into that building. But Lamps will not 
be in the vicinity of that grenade. He had plenty of time to get away. Now DP, Maxizor, and Ovstring are starting to run out of time. In a minute and a half, they have to be in the next circle. But more importantly, they need to work out how to rotate. They really do not want to have to deal with this right now. They're using a lot of meds to deal with Lamp, who is holding out valiantly. He's saying, if you want this kill, you're going to have to work for it, mate. Max is all downtown. DP is effectively fighting this out as a 2v1. Offstring on the other side, and there we go. Taking the gambit, trying to get out onto the bike, but it wasn't going to pay off. And as a result, we have win streak 15 here on seven kills with three members of their team left alive. That's good points here in this game. It looks like we've got a crate here for Mexi. Let's go ahead and take a look. It is the Org, ladies and gentlemen. Double five, five, six with the Mini 15. Mini 15, wow, that's a weapon and a half. Mini 14 and the Org here for Mexi. All four members of Team Liquid still alive with three kills to their name so far. They got a descent to circle very early indeed and have done a tremendous job of just staying rotating and keeping the compounds they occupy free from outside interference. Another team that has done that quite well is Na'Vi, but we don't want to worry about them right now because Entropic are trying to stop Initium from getting into the circle. The SLR in the hands of Hawkey, looking for the head of NBS. Beautiful! Finds the head of NBS as the circle starting to close in as well. Might prove to be extremely difficult to get him back up. We're certainly going to give it a go though, and uh, that ridge is actually going to allow them to do it. Oh, I beg your pardon, they're inside after all. For some reason, I thought he was out. Everything is fine. I say everything is fine. Northern lights are approaching now from the south side. Things are about to light up very quickly indeed. Silas getting two headshots onto Northern Lights. It's a three-way battle right now. And Northern Lights, Silas basically nailing everything. And dear, oh dear. Suddenly going up to three kills. All four members of Initium Novum are still alive. They were the outsiders here. They were the ones who were supposed to be the underdogs being pushed. And instead, they showed us how it was done. Northern Lights there. I'm going to be thinking twice before pushing into them next time around. What a beautiful maneuver there from Initium. But they still have the small matter of the circle to have to worry about. So they're going to be rotating down south. That also means they're going to be rotating into Tempest by the looks of things. Ents are also moving that way. Wookie Bookie. Very close to spotting where the Ents guys are. Squeaky almost getting in behind that chain link fence. Just about managing to dodge. Rust and Mar extremely close to them. And that will pay off. Hanny goes down now. Looking for the frag grenade to finish that kill off. Oh, here comes the second member of the team. Wookie Bookie going down a little bit, but Rustin Mart down to 6 HP. Ents and Tempest now having a wild bit of tussle. And unfortunately, Rustin Mart being forced to heal in the open allows Wookie Bookie to go ahead and grab that kill. Squeaky now looking for the pickup, looking for an opportunity to finish off Tempest. They've got teams from both sides right now. Initium are coming in from the other side. If that car blows up... And that car did blow up. That is Hanny down. And Silas will be able to get that kill as well. Beautiful Faye Grand Grenade is going to finish TMP off. And that is... That's a lot of kills right now. We are up to six for Initium Novum. And they spot Ents on the other side of here. Everybody is fighting with everybody else in 45 seconds as well. The zone is going to be even smaller. Initium still with four alive, but needing to use a lot of their meds right now. Ents very bunched up on the north side of the circle. If Intense is able to actually grab... A cheeky nade or a really good spray. We might actually see a situation where multiple people go down. That's the nade we're talking about. The three times spray is no good. Digger one getting intense there. And Silas, the only person left on his feet for Initium Novum. They have got four kills. In the meantime, actually, win streak 15 up to 10 kills. Let's give them props where it's due as well. Silas, though, is going to have to carry the rest of his team now. That's going to be significantly quieter. Ents have got that position to themselves. Team Liquid have got now the only significant compound left in the circle, unless you count that Shaq. Win streak 15, up to 10 kills. They're down to two people left alive. DP and Offspring. Offspring? Yeah, we can roll with that. Uh, looking at the compound, looking for a pickoff on the Team Liquid. They'll suspect someone is there, and they will be able to confirm that very shortly indeed. Yeah, they hear the gunshots now. There's absolutely no denying that whatsoever. 
the ADR farmers. Playing with Team Unique. Silas goes down to a nice grenade from Hawkey. And that's six kills. A really, really good game, actually, from uh, Team Inition. A little bit squeezed out at the end there, but they've done tremendously well for themselves. ADR farmers now need to find their way into a circle. It's not actually this team they need to worry about. It's Na'Vi. Reggie Beardo taking down Senya. The tab's very close to him. Oh, and QB might have actually had an angle there. I'm not 100% sure, but they're still focused on Team Unique, luckily for them. This is going to allow Na'Vi to play the Shed Life. Ents, by the way, attempted to sneak up onto Team Liquid. Ibi and K-Mine saw that that wasn't going to be possible. And we now have Entropic, who still have all four players alive, it is worth noting. Trying to move into Circle and try and carve out a space for themselves. He hears Bestalock coming very close to him. And uh, Reggie is going to be moving back. Bestalock might actually try and push very aggressively. He's on the right-hand side here. Mid-jump, Reggie was caught out. Senya in the tabs. Very close by. Oh, beautiful grenade from Bestalock there. A second one to follow it up. Won't quite do the dirty. But the rest of the squad are now moving in. Jeems getting a hit onto DP. And looking for Ovstring as well. Jeems and Ibi together will be able to finish win streak 15, who have got a ridiculous number of kills this game, I have to say. They've done tremendously well, but Team Liquid still holding on to that position. With three alive, Mexi unfortunately going down in that uh, rat house there outside the compound. Na'Vi now holding on to this position from Team Unique, who they managed to fend off. The tab's actually finishing that with a frag grenade. Their survivability when they're pinned down is insane. You can never predict where they're going to be coming at you from because they are so aggressive and they will lash out and if you're not on the ball literally 100% of the time they will take your head off the way we like to watch them play to be fair the tabs now buying themselves a little bit of space and they're taking down Triquo but Team Liquid will be able to finish them off big spray coming out of here from Bestalock oh, 4x on that M4 he gets taken down and Jeems just off the edge of that ridgeline. Oh my! Almost running into that frag grenade there is Bestalock. A little bit of a miscalculation there. And Jeems suddenly finds himself in the driver's seat. Team Liquid are now on a 10 kill spree. There are four teams left alive. We've got Team Liquid. We've got Adepts who, with only Phanom left. We've got Team Unique. And we've also got Entropic. Looking for the flank with double. Manages to get the knock onto Poker, but having to move in. Stand in now. Looking for the return knock, but double is going to be able to hide while he meds up. Team Unique have to get into circle. It's 10 seconds left. No time to waste at all. Potential big risky play here. Nope. We're going to be settling this with the frag grenade instead. Stand in looking for the high ground. He gets the high ground, and as a result, Double is going to go down here. Team Unique are eliminated, though. A teammate is able to help there, but Double, unfortunately, will go down. I think he's a little bit too far. Is he going to be too far to be saved? I think it might be too far to be saved. He's going to keep crawling. He's going to try, but I think the zone is going to outpace him at this point. Reggie Beardo thinking he has a pretty good position. Phanom is going to play spoiler here if he's not careful. We're down to three teams and Team Liquid have three players left. It's a 3v3v1. Assuming we can get Double out of there alive. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be possible. That is it. So it's a 3v2v1 at the moment. And Team Liquid now know they comfortably have the numbers advantage. K-Mind peeking over the ridge there. Let's go ahead and take a look at his point of view. We're looking for Entropics. We are hunting them right now. Reggie Beardo has been spotted out. We'll be getting called out by his teammates. K-Mind in the meantime looking for K-Doran. One team on the left-hand side. Reggie coming up to a better cover in the bike. Deciding to risk himself being shot for a few seconds in exchange for better cover at the end of it. Will be able to pay off for now. Phanom still snaking. Looking to try and get into second place for the Adepts. No one's really spotted him so far. He's not actually hiding in a ditch or anything either. He's actually looking for opportunities. And speaking of opportunities, he's just found one. Managing to get, I think, the headshot onto Reggie Beardo there. And that helmet is all but gone. So uh, really unfortunate that suddenly the third party is becoming very real indeed. The next circle isn't really going to bother people too much though. That was a long frag grenade from Ibby, I think. 
They suspect Slash know where Reggie is. But they're a little bit too far away to do very much about it. And K-Doran gets knocked. This is not good. Gets taken down by K-Mind. And now... Phanom is also spotted out now. This is a problem. He is only a single player, but then again, so is Entropics right now. The smoke's coming out to just try and survive as long as possible. Here comes Phanom with the attempted smoke train. Using five smokes to try and move out here. The shots come in through the smoke. One shot connecting. Looking for more, not finding it so far. Reggie, in the meantime, just saying, look, mate, why don't you go ahead and fight Team Liquid and just leave me alone? Both of these guys are going to have to move very shortly. I reckon in about 30 seconds, we're going to see both of these people have to go into the open. Here comes Phanom. He's being forced to move out. And there we go. And Tropic now know they're in second place. It's a 1v3 versus Team Liquid. Jeems is going to get the kill. Let's go ahead and look at this from K-Mind's point of view. Team Liquid with 12 kills going into this. Can they make it a nice, clean 13? Reggie, he wants a point. He really just wants a knock and a kill out of this. He doesn't mind losing. He's got a knock. He manages to get Ibby. Can he get the finish? Will he risk his life for the finish for that extra point for Entropics? He's peeking over the ridge, but K-Mind has him covered at the moment. Ibby is going down fast. If he can last until he officially registers the knock, that would be great. An excellent grenade, actually, onto Jeans. Buys him a lot of time. A ridiculous amount of time. It looks like Ibby might be going down here, but he pokes his head out just for a second. One headshot will do the trick right now. Ibby goes down. He gets the point there for Entropics. Jeems has now healed up. He is back in action. Molotov going his way. Reggie in a 1v2. The belief is real. Never give up. Never surrender. Every point counts, and we are playing the scrim like it is the grand final, where one point is the difference between first and second place. Supreme patience going on here. We've got two and a half minutes now for him to decide his strategy. Team Liquid are reasonably split between K-Mind and Jeems, meaning if he, if uh, Reggie gets a knock onto one of these two players, then it's very likely that it'll be difficult for Team Liquid to get a res. Beautiful headshot to start things off. He's going to be saying that's a ping. Let's push in. Let's push in hard and let's push in now. And that is exactly what Jeems does. Team Liquid, ladies and gentlemen, first place with 13 kills to close out Miramar. A tremendous game from them, taking the center of the circle very early on and uh, doing a very good job. That's 13 kills. And Tropics managing to get second place there. Congratulations to them. And actually, an eight kill game is pretty strong at the Adepts coming in third. We also have Team Unique finishing fourth there. So a considerably different finishing result compared to Sarnok. And that will be our only Miramar game of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did.